Good morning, good morning, good morning, Andrea. Nice to see you, Judy. Good to see you coming on. That's great, Randy. Good morning, good morning. It's seven o'clock. And uh, wow, welcome to the 40 day worship challenge. This is day number 34. And of course, our shields are linked. We're stronger together than we are by ourselves. And I have my mug with me. And, and this one says better. And I, of course, I tell you, I have two of them. It says better together, stronger together. We link shields. Uh, we're uh, encouraged when we're encouraged by the Lord and when we're encouraged by each other. And uh, believe me, the enemy tries to come in and discourage us. I don't know what your uh, day has been like or your morning or even yesterday, but we are in a constant battle. We're, we're, there, we're, the, the enemy is waging warfare and God is giving us the victory every single day. That's why we get to the mornings. That's why we, we just move in and spend the morning with him. We give him the first 15, first 30, first 45, first hour or two hours, whatever time we can. The key to our time alone with God is getting there. It's allowing him to do something fresh in our life on that day, today. Today is the day of salvation, it says. It tells us to pick up our cross daily. It says to uh, that his mercies are new every morning, that every day is new, every day is strategic. Every day is meant to be with him, walking, getting to know him and walking with him. And God has a plan for us today. And, and uh, so it's just great to be together. And uh, I was talking about yesterday about the Apostle Paul and a, a prescription that he gives for mental health. And I wanna share that. And he did say to Timothy in 2 Timothy that, that God did not give uh, Timothy a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, that God wants to anchor us every single day in him so that we can walk in peace and we can walk in assurance and we can walk in confidence. And I, I wrote down here, when the battle gets hot and heavy, we need to know what to do. When the, when the battle starts to wage, and I know if you're like me, a battle gets going on in your mind or in your heart, pressures come, Cir strange circumstances or situations you find yourself in, or, or you just know that, the, that there's, a, there's a battle waging, and we need to know exactly what to do in those moments. And that's what the next few days are gonna be. But I wanna give you Paul's, the Apostle Paul's prescription for mental health. And this, is, this has been such a key scripture in so many people's lives because it's a, it's a moment where we pivot, where we, where, we, where we make a decision. It's a moment when either we go one direction or we go the other. And it's such a key to what happens in our life. And it's found in Philippians 4, 6 through 9. And I wanted to read it from the Passion Translation because it, it comes out just in, 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 in rich verbiage. It comes out just in a rich thought. But it's something we should think about because it's more than just what we think about. It's a decision that we need to make in those moments. And it will make or break the moment. And it will bring us either into a, a peace or it'll bring us into anxiety. And it's at that moment that we must pivot. We must make a decision in order to enter into what God has for us in that moment. And we're all in this together. Everybody is in the cosmic conflict. Everybody's in the battle. Everybody's in this and we're all uh, waging warfare. We're all battling. And God has such a plan for your life and, and he's, he's fulfilling something in you and through you as you meet with him. So this is all about the meeting, all about the time with him. But, but let this be an encouragement to you. The, the, the Bible says here, don't be pulled in different directions. How many feel like... <laughs> In this season, you're being pulled in different directions. It says, 
don't be pulled in different directions or worry about a thing. Don't worry about anything, it says. Not to worry about anything. No matter what it is, you're not to worry about. Now, if you're like me, you, find, you might find that challenging. Like, how do you do that? Like, how is that possible that we don't worry about anything and we don't get pulled in a certain direction? Right now, you may be feeling pulled. You may be uh, tempted to worry. There, it, it, it's such a, an interesting season. There's so much that we're facing. Now, here's what it says. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Offer your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Here's the strategy right here. It's, it's, it's being saturated in prayer all day. It's, it's being in constant fellowship with God all day. That's the secret to staying out of being pulled and out of anxiety. It's being saturated in prayer. Now, some seasons, it's going to be a battle to get there. I understand that. That's why we link shields. That's why we come together. But the key is staying saturated in prayer. And actually, that Greek word there for prayer means surrender. It means to yield over. It means to let go. It means a face-to-face vow with God. It means an exchange. It means allowing him to take control. Again, that may feel challenging in the moment, but that is the prescription for what is going to bring us into what the Lord is going to show us as his peace. It says, tell him every detail of your life. Then God's wondrous peace and trans that transcends human understanding will make the answer known to you through Jesus Christ. Here, here as we are surrounded, the Bible says, and garrisoned about, garrisoned about by his peace, it says that, that his answers will be made known to us in those moments. And then it says, so keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. Even the Bible tells us in Corinthians that, that love is patient and kind. And fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. Follow the example of all that we have in that we have imparted to you and the God of peace will be with you in all things. I want to say here that there, that there is an interface between right thinking and wrong thinking and that interface is a choice, the choice we make at that moment. The question is, how quickly are we going to uh, catch and destroy a wrong thought? How quickly are we going to pivot and move to a place of surrender and a place of peace? And, and we're always at those crossroads and we feel when the angst comes up and God's wanting us to pivot quickly. I, I put down here in a, in a split second, inter, there's a split second interface between choosing to worry or surrendering and trusting God. Let me read you one more passage that's so critical. We will see trusting God is the key to peace. Surrendering is the key to peace. Isaiah 26, 3. Perfect, absolute peace surrounds those whose imaginations are consumed with you. They, they, they confidently trust in you. This is so critical. When you lose your peace, this is what I want to say, say to you. Stop, stop, drop. That means to kneel and pray. Ask him for help. Right at that moment, that critical moment when anxiety or something's pulling you. Don't go the way it's pulling you and don't succumb to that anxious thought. Stop, drop, and pray.
and surrender and trust him in that moment. I'm going to go through sword that is practicing sword. It's an acrostic for uh, just what we do in those moments of that interface. And we'll spend the next few days on that. This will be strategic in this time because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard against him. I promise you that. And that's a promise to us through his word if we pivot at that moment to go to him when the temptation is to worry. Let me read Psalm, uh, let me read out of day 34, Psalms 111, one through five. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wondrous works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. Let me pray for you and thank. let's thank the Lord. Father, we thank you for that quick moment of pivot where when we're tempted and there's pressures to worry or fear be pulled in direction, that we can turn our attention to you to surrender and trust you and ask for your help. And to know that as we do and we thank you, God, that your peace will guard our hearts and minds in Christ and we can think on the things that are right. Father, we thank you for this moment today together that we can link shields, that whatever is facing us right now, Lord, we make that pivot, that move to you. We give you the glory. We know that you will protect and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, our shields are linked. This is a great morning to just go in and be with him. Enjoy his presence and just to have an amazing day. And I'll see you again tomorrow on day number 35. Bless you. Bye.